What's going on guys? So, I know I've been a little bit out of YouTube for a little bit. I've been working a lot. But anyway, quick video today. Um, current weight is 174 pounds. Starting to feel back out again. Feeling good. Feeling a little bit more full. And that brings me to my next point. So, when you're full and you have some carbs in your, in your system, you get way better pumps. And um, that leads to a bit more vascularity and a little bit improved overall strength. So today I'm going to show you guys three awesome tips to how to get crazy vascularity. So step one, well I'm not even really going to include this as a step, but you have to be you have to be at a low body fat percentage for this to work. If you're at a point that you cannot see your veins when you're not in the gym, this is not going to work and um, you're going to have to get leaner. But anyway, step one is dry out. And when I say this, you're going to have to be low carbs for one to two days and get to the point that your muscles are depleted. Now, this kind of sucks. And um, anyone that's ever done contest prep, anyone that's ever cut to extremely low weight or just cut carbs in general will know, will know this. And um, yeah, you're not going to look that good. But you know what? That's part of it. So then you have to do, or I, this is what I do, 24-hour reload period where you eat complex carbohydrates and simple sugars and you restore all the glycogen and you're still at a very low body fat percentage then if you re then that's what i'm going to do you have to remember i've also been eating all day the amount of carbs out today is crazy and um so i'm going to take a couple of these hazelnut lindor chocolates like nutella um ice cream, really anything, anything that's simple sugars will work for this. I'm going to open these up. Eat one. Grab a pair of decently light dumbbells. So for me, I have 25 pounds. Hi, oh, you guys can't see this. Anyway, a second. Uh, how is this gonna work? Yeah, there we go. So you guys doing for a second. There, this should work. Is it stable? Okay, this should work. So, I ate one of those. I'm gonna grab two 25 pound dumbbells and I'll back up as far as I can. Hold the dumbbells like this, so at the end, like a hammer curl. Hold them by, the, by your side and turn up. And then come back down into a hammer curl. And, ah, uh, you guys can't see this. So, starting, turn up and out and back down. And do 20 reps. So I just make your forearms be burning just because of how you're gripping it because you're gripping up and turning out so you are flexing your forearm. Now, eat one more. Eat 
one more of these. Wait a few seconds. Grab the dumbbells. And just hold them and squeeze as tight as you can. So, what this is doing is you're pumping, the carbohydrates are going to pump fluids into the muscles that are being used, which in this case are your forearms. So, your veins are going to start to pop out. There we go. I'm going to stand here for a, couple, for a few minutes. Biceps are a little bit pumped, not really. There you go. There you go. I don't need to see. you guys to see this here I will post a picture of my veins like of my arms on the screen right here somewhere around there and um, yeah it does work it just oh wait I can do this actually that's not that good but anyway that's it um, Helps get a little bit more of a pump. Carbohydrates are great. At the end of the day, um, carbohydrates is ultimately what's going to give you that crazy vascularity. But you have to keep, remember to keep your carbs at a um, point that is sustainable. So you can't be high carbs every single day. You need carbs, enough carbs to stay full and um, keep your muscles full, full enough. But you don't want to get have so many carbs you start to bloat over so that's it um actually since you guys are here let's do a um so i've been getting asked this how big are my biceps we're about to see how big they are pumped so Just going for a pump, so come up, squeeze, slow. <clears throat> That's enough. Okay. Alright, let's see. Yeah, it should have, uh... my left arm first, so it's smaller. Fuck, I don't think you guys can see this. I'm so sunburnt from today, it's ridiculous. So, this is only a bicep pump. No tricep pump here. You guys can't see this at all. <sighs> Dang it. There it is, watch. I'm just gonna hold it so you guys can see. Believe me or don't, but. They're just about 16. Yeah, you guys can't see that at all. But you know what? Whatever. 
um, just about 16 inches, with, or sorry, just over, just under without a pump. My goal, I'd really like to get my arms up to 17, like 16 and a half cold and um, 17, 17 and a half for the pump. I'd be really happy with that this year. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, just a few quick tips on how to get some good vascularity. Um, most important point though is you're going to have to be a low body fat percentage. It's, that's when you're if you're low enough body fat percent, you're going to see your veins. And then when you put the carbohydrates and sugars in it, it will pop, it will bring them out more because carbohydrates, as you know, are a large molecule that um, I just destroyed my shirt. Are a large molecule that so when it goes through your veins, they pop out. It's just how it works. So anyway, I hope this got. I hope this is useful. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. Click that little notification button because nobody gets notified when I post videos. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys soon.